coach you through tomorrow's home workout. Those of you that already have a dumbbell or some sort of weight, if you want to add it in, that is totally okay. Um, we're going to go through our warm up, conditioning, and then core work for the end. Um, I'll try to keep this video a lot shorter than yesterday. Um, Marty is going to demo. We're going to coach him through all the movements. Um, if you don't know Marty, this is Marty. <laughs> Um, so warm up today, you guys are going to go through this for three rounds. Um, you are going to hold a lunge hold with your left leg. Step on that lunge. Nice stable position. So he's keeping his core nice and tight. Uh, vertical chest. He is at that 90 degree angle. If he lifted his back foot, back foot, he's still in that nice stable position. I can't push him over. All right. So 30 seconds on left leg. Then he's going to switch to 30 seconds on his right leg. Um, what I would like to see is trying to keep the entire stance active. So if he's going to, yep, there we go, that nice active position, you should be able to fit your hand under there. All right, stand up, up out of that. Then he's going to do 20 air squats. So shoulder width stance, his hips are dropping below his knee. Trying to keep a nice vertical chest, face them. All right, you can relax. Um, and then 10 push-ups. So just getting that push nice and warm, hopping down to the ground. His chest is gonna touch. Um, because it's in the warm-up, um, if you don't have an object available, that's totally okay. You can go from your knees. Or if you do have a nice bench or couch while you're doing this. Kitchen chair. Kitchen chair. Not something that when you touch it, it moves, but. Um, otherwise, knee push-ups are totally uh, fine for this part of the work or warm-up. Um, and then 10 single leg RDL. So no weight needed for this, just warming up. Hamstrings working on that balance, nice and controlled. He is hinging at the hip. So he's not just bending over and touching his toes. This is an actual hip hinge, a nice straight line from his shoulder to his opposite foot. Free right there, good. And stand up. All right, so that is our warm up for today. Three rounds of that. And then moving into our conditioning. Uh, we have 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. So going down by twos, um, you do 20 of each movement, 18 of each, 16 of each, 14 of each, and so on. Um, when we're talking about lunges, each step is a rep. So it is not 20 each leg, it is 10 each leg. Um, same thing for the plank shoulder taps. Each touch is a rep. Um, and then squats, just pretty straightforward one-to-one. Um, so step back lunges. He is going to step back, touch that back knee lightly, and step back together. Good. If you guys have some sort of weight or accessory you want to add to that front rack, you can do that too. All right. Um, moving to our plank shoulder tap. So we are up on our hands. There we go. He is making sure that he's keeping that nice straight line from his shoulders to his heels. He's not letting his hips sag. He's not putting his butt up in the air. And when he's going to touch his opposite shoulder, he is not opening up to rotate. There we go. Wrong. That's bad. <laughs> I should slap you over that one. <laughs> um, and then heel elevated squat. So if you guys don't have anything to stand on, but honestly a book, anything that pretty much a couple inches off the ground, you're putting your heels on it. And then from there, he is going into a squat position. Good. So just going through that range of motion. For this one, feel free to play around with um, the width of your feet. If you're more comfortable, a little bit narrower. Oh, that's very narrow. Like a ballerina over here. Knee intensive. Yes. Um, so kind of find what is comfortable for you. Yeah. And that's, a, that's the conditioning for tomorrow. Um, and then ending with a little bit of core work. So first thing you're going to do, so when you guys are going through these, um, it does not need to be chipper style, so if you wanted to do a minute of squat, minute of plank, 30 second side plank, uh, totally okay. Rotate through however you want, just make sure you're accumulating a total of each. So, three minutes in his active squat hold. So, he's active right now. He is not going to let his butt drop and just hang out in that bottom position. He's all loosey-goosey in his core there. Good. Right below that parallel line. It should start to burn. Same thing for this, if you guys have a kettlebell or dumbbell that you want to get at that, good, just like that. You face them. <laughs> All right, so three minutes in that position. Um, and then he's gonna go try to accumulate three minutes in a plank hold. So 
So for this one, he can be on his hands or he can go to his forearms. Same thing, don't let that butt drop down. Don't let his butt come up in the air. All right, and then a minute 30 side plank each side. So 90 seconds on your right side, 90 seconds on your left side. What we're trying to look for here, even though his shirt is sagging right now, is try not to let that hip drop. So really think about engaging the obliques, keeping everything nice and straight. If he wanted to go up on his hand, he could do that. And then same thing on that other side. All right, um, that is tomorrow's workout. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. We will um, answer any modifications, scalings, things like that if needed. Goodbye.